Welcome back, it's me Will and today we're choosing my five transfer window targets that we will be looking to sign in January 2023. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash the subscribe button right now, it really helped me out and you're helping out the channel, we're trying to build a community here over on the William Ward channel, all about football and vlogs in this channel. So my first first signing of January 2023 is Cody Gakbo. Now we went and tried to go in for Cody Gakbo in the summer transfer window. However, we reluctantly and failed at that because of Louis van Gaal and obviously personal budgets with PSV Eidenhoven. However, what do you think about Cody Gakbo coming over to Ellen Road? I know that Arsenal and other clubs like Brian are looking at him as well. The £38 million star should be at Ellen Road. I think he's a great, great addition. He'll be a good starter for us. And the quality, the quality is insane. I'll put a few clips up right now so you can have a look. So what do you think about that? I think Cody Gakbo would be a great, great addition. Obviously, he's been at PSV Eidenhoven for a couple of years now. And he is the Netherlands starter, which is good, which is crazy. You know, he's only 23 years old and he plays number 11 at PSV. So it is an ideal match for us. I don't know why we wouldn't go for him, why we don't think that he would be an ideal Rafinha replacement. Obviously, we've got Sinistera, we've got Wil Wilfred Nyonto now, but my only concern is having that attacking forward in the team, especially that prominence. He's lethal on the ball. He's, he's just a genius. Creativity, shots, everything you could think about. So what do you think about Cody Gakbo? Do you think he would be a great signing? Let me know down in the comments down below. Personally, I think the chemistry would work well. Obviously, we've got a few Dutch players in the squad and it would be good addition indeed, and especially if, if he can come in, merge with the squad, get the chemistry up and actually score goals i think it'll be a good addition and you never know what will happen we might be back in the champions league now <laughs> who knows we will see okay the next one is kai wagner now we looked over to sign him in the summer transfer again but unfortunately we missed that option out like I said in the previous video that we utterly failed in the transfer window because Victor Orta did not sign or get agreements straight away and other people that are involved in that signing basis that they did not get players over the line. Henceforth, we managed to get one player at the end of the transfer deadline, which is quite, quite disappointing to be honest because we're trying to push on and trying to succeed. However, we are not doing that, especially in the last transfer summer window. So hopefully in January, we can get some new players like Kai Wagner, because not being funny, Urente is not doing very well at the moment. Maybe that could be a potential switch, but who knows? Do you think Kai Wagner would be good? Obviously he plays in the MLS for Philadelphia, Union of Major League Soccer. So current teams are Philadelphia Union. He's a defender and he's in the MLS All-Star team. Now, I think going based on what he is good at, I think he is a good player, good defender. Here's what he does. Okay, so what do you think about that? I think he's a very interesting player. I think he has got the knowledge. I think he's got the skills. I think he's got the the brain power there. But I'm just a bit concerned moving from the MLS to the Premier League. If you went to Europe first and moved to the UK or the Premier League, that's good. But with the MLS, it's not difficult as it is the Premier League, if you know what I'm saying. So get him in the training camp, get him merged with the squad, get some good sessions in and see what happens because if we can sign him, great. Well, if you look at Arsenal's goalkeeper that they signed from America, he didn't play very well the other night. 
and it's a very difficult one. Is it easier in MLS compared to the Premier League? Let me know right now because I know for a fact it's the Premier League, but others might have different views. Okay, so the next one is a name that I haven't heard of yet, but we have agreed an agreement with Fabino Parisi. Now, this is Italian footballer playing for Serie A club Empoli. I don't know too much about him. He's 21 years old. He is a defender. Great. So that's two defenders down on the ball. Uh, I think we definitely do need him in the squad. Going back off of his footage. I think he would be a great, great signing. I think getting that defence clearly, clearly, clearly blocked off, that would be great for us. I think we've had many, many issues, like I said, with Llorente. A few hiccups from Pascal Strauch has been playing very well in that position, the left-back position. So, you know, obviously his normal position is in centre-back. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I think this guy's got the skills, like I said before. If we can get him on the cheap, maybe, who knows? But there is an agreement in principle. You've heard it first from me that Fabio Parisi has a Leeds United agreement with the club. So let me know what you think about that down in the comments down below. Do you think the skills that you've seen here today are good skills, good defending, good knowledge, good know-how? Let me know in the comments down below. The next one is Ben Breton Diaz. Now his name flew around the world in this transfer window. Now we obviously know that he's at Blackburn Rovers. However, if he decides to leave, which he's already openly said he's not, that was a few months ago, we will see he's got a good attacking form, but he's not in the Premier League. This is what's frustrating. Why are we going for players that aren't in the Premier League? or in the Bundesliga, or in or in La Liga. We need to be looking players at top flight football, not League One, League Two, or Championship, you know? Obviously, some players have Premier League quality. Maybe that's why Ben Breton Diaz is, is shining on through. I know Everton are looking at him. I know uh, Brighton are looking at him. So we will see what the Chile man has got to say. Let me know what you think about him right now down in the comments down below and your opinions do you think he is a good match for the squad because I think it would be good but I think if we have Cody Gakbo then I think Cody Gakbo beats him any day of the week no offense to you Ben Breton Diaz but or they could have a joint relationship if we played you know a different formation to attacking that might be interesting that might be different for Jesse Marsh's style but not sure not sure let me know if that would be a good, good signing. The next one is Salzburg player that came four days ago. Apparently there is an agreement in principle. Leeds United could make the move for RB Salzburg striker Noah Okafor. Now, he's a striker. Of course, he plays for RB Salzburg. You know, he could be to us. Apparently, Borussia Dortmund and Inter Milan are looking for him. But according to this, RB Salzburg is looking for around £20 million for the player. Now, I don't know about this one. Let me know. Do you think this would be a good player? I think Leeds United are just kind of randomly picking all these players and not thinking about it. But I know that he looks quite good. Quite good on his attack in front. Let me know what you think about his skills right now. So what did you think about that? I think it was quite interesting. I think he's got some good skills. I keep saying that after every other player, but 
you've got to get the quality, the mentality, and obviously the teamship, I guess, the collaborative form with your teammates. So we will see if we can get him in, if we can get at least five players in a January transfer window, two defenders maybe, uh, two strikers, and a winger, essentially. And we will see what happens. Let me know what you think about that right now. So that was my five players that I believe Leeds United will sign in the January transfer window. What do you think about these players? We've got Cody Gakpo, which is a player that's been named around for ages now. We've got Kai Wagner, again, same name floating around for, for weeks on end. And obviously we've got Fabino Parisi and Ben Breton Diaz. And of course, Noah Okafor. So let me know what you think about all these players down in the comments down below and if you haven't watched my recent video please do that right now at the end of this video and don't forget to smash the subscribe button you are helping me out a bunch and i love you all and don't forget to have a great day and i'll see you guys in another video see you later